The spiritist ideas have been present in humankind's history since the beginning of times. The ancient Egyptian, Greek, and Roman mythology represent the ancient human belief in the dynamic interaction of both the spiritual and the material planes. Great philosophers such as Plato and Socrates talked about the immortality of the soul. Socrates, in particular, used to refer to an invisible friend. In the Old Testament, we see innumerable accounts in which several important notable individuals have talked about their interaction with the spirit realm. Moses saw Jehovah and started hearing voices. The New Testament also has a great number of passages in which we verify the constant and natural interaction of both realms. Jesus talked to Elijah and Moses on the Mount in a transfiguration moment Jesus Christ expelled suffering spirits many times from his followers. On the day of Pentecost, the disciples spoke in tongues. On March 31st, 1848, in Hydesville, New York, in the United States, the manifestation of intelligent forces intervening in the physical plane denote the appearance of spiritism through mediumistic phenomena. The consequences of those events had large repercussions even in Europe. The phenomena occurred in a farmhouse, home of the Fox family. The Fox sisters began communicating with the deceased spirit of a peddler named Charles Rosna. They used letters in order to form words following the determination that each letter would correspond to a certain number of taps. Therefore, they had discovered the adopted process for communication between both worlds. We may say that the phenomena of the turning tables which followed the events in Hydesville prepared the upcoming of spiritism by calling on the interest of many men of science, among them Professor Rival or Alan Kardec. Hippolyte Leon Dinizard Rival, who later adopted the pen name Alan Kardak, was born in the city of Lyon, France, on October 3rd, 1804. At the age of 10, his parents sent him to study in Everdom, Switzerland, in a famous and respected school founded by the Swiss educator Johann Pestalozzi. The institute was a kind of model school admired by the aristocracy at the time and important names from politics, science, literature, and philanthropy. After having concluded his education in Everton, Rival became a renowned master not only in liberal arts but also in sciences, gaining distinction as a great educator. He published many didactic books and created new methods to transform the French educational system. 
His long experience as an educator enabled Professor Raval to perform another task, the compilation and codification of Spiritism. In May of 1855, Raval first witnessed the turning table phenomena and instantly understood that the communications between spirits and humankind implied a science of profound moral consequences. He realized that these phenomena held the key to humanity's problems, past and future, and also the solution he had searched for for his entire life. Raval decided to investigate these phenomena rigorously and systematically. With the help of different mediums, Professor Raval questioned the spirits about God, the invisible world, and the destiny of humankind on earth. Raval published these findings for the benefit and instruction of humanity. He was, however, unaware of the magnitude of the work he was performing, a set of principles capable of impacting and transforming the world. The first revelation as to the nature of his mission came in April of 1856 through the spirit Zephyro and was later reiterated by the spirit Hanneman, the father of homeopathy. On June 12, 1856, the spirit of truth explained to Raval the importance of his mission by warning him of the arduous work of pioneers. He was also informed that the publishing of the books alone would not be enough. He should also expose himself. Rival, not dismayed by the challenges, accepts the task entrusted to him without hesitation. With his approach of conviction and faith, the distinguished educator Raval gives way to the notable Alan Kardec, who brings to fruition on earth the teachings of the Consoler promised by Jesus. Published in Paris on April 18, 1857, The Spirit's Book is the initial mark for a new era in humankind's history. Spiritism is based on the solidity of this book, on the credibility and wisdom of its spiritual teachings, and on the purity of the ethical principles that it proposes. The Spirit's Book contains 1,019 questions and answers. The questions were asked by Alan Kardec, and the answers were brought in through mediums by enlightened spirits, among which were John the Evangelist, St. Augustine, St. Vincent de Paul, St. Louis, the Spirit of Truth, Socrates, Plato, Finelin, Swedenborg, Hanneman, and Benjamin Franklin. This phenomenal book can be considered the tree of life because it sheds light onto all subjects of life. It is didactically divided into four parts. 
Part 1, God and the Universe. Part 2, The Spirit World. Part 3, Ethico-Moral Laws. Part 4, Hopes and Solaces. Besides the Spirit's book, other works compose the Spiritist codification. The Medium's Book, The Gospel According to Spiritism, Heaven and Hell, and Genesis develop, deepen, and consolidate the principles of Spiritism. The spirit to seeds of love and light have been thread throughout the last 150 years from Paris, France to the whole planet Earth. Since then, Spiritism has promoted profound spiritual education, spiritual healing and comfort to people of all walks of life. It has also led thousands of community outreach programs which transform lives in many countries. At-risk children, youth, and families have been assisted through the phenomenal work done by compassionate spiritists and their organization. You are also welcome to join us in this journey.